when we generalize it for sine, we find that sine has the two possibilities of theta or of pi minus theta, and then we can add as many full rotations as we want to. This is where n is an integer. Or if you prefer degrees, the possibilities are theta and 180 degrees minus theta, plus as many full rotations as we want to. All right, let's look at sine, uh, cosine. All right, for cosine, if we were to find an angle for cosine, its doppelganger point, or its point that has the same angle, is down here across the x-axis, which means to find this arc in red, to find that angle from our starting position, we have to take 2 pi and then subtract the theta. So for cosine, our answers are going to be theta and 2 pi minus theta. Or, and let's go ahead and write it back on this sheet. So we have theta, 2 pi minus theta, and again, we're going to add on as many complete rotations as we want to. Or if you're working in degrees, it's theta and 360 minus theta. plus as many complete rotations as we want to. Right, lastly, let's look at tangent. Let's say we were looking at tan of x equals 1. Well, remember, tangent is sine over cosine. So we could reason through and reckon that this occurs when sine and cosine have the same exact values, both with their positive, negative, and their actual numeric values. Or you could just go to your calculator and type in tan inverse of 1. If you type in tan inverse of 1, again, it depends what mode you're in. If you're in radians, you'll get approximately 0.7854, which is the decimal equivalent of, rat two, of pi fourths. Okay, so tangent solutions are pi fourths and five pi fourths. Again, plus as many rotations as we want to. But here's the cool thing about tangent. Wherever our first solution is for tangent, the other solution's directly across from it on the circle. So to get from one solution to another, we go through a half circle rotation. So if this is theta, then this is theta plus pi. And to get back, we're going to do theta plus 2 pi. To get back again, we do theta plus 3 pi. So the pattern you should realize is that any value for x, any possible angle that will give us these two points, is going to be pi fourths plus as many pi's, as many half rotations as we want. And this is true for any tangents, because any tangent, its doppelganger point is directly across the circle. So for tangent, we get theta plus pi times n, where n is an integer. Or, if we're working in degrees, theta plus 180 degrees times n, where n is an integer. The screen that I have up right now, please, please, please make sure that this makes sense to you and you have it down. The top row is radians, the bottom is degrees. So work in whatever makes most sense to you.